today we're going to be building doomsday bunkers in Minecraft to see if they're actually safe against natural disasters. Before I get into the video, as you guys know, I'm giving away Minecraft accounts every single video until, I don't know, I run out of money, I guess. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I'm going to leave the Minecraft gift code somewhere throughout today's video. If you happen to be late to this video, if you want to get a chance to win a Minecraft account, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now and make sure you turn on post notifications and set it to all notifications. We're at a gruesome war with the YouTube algorithm right now and we are nowhere near completed. So if everybody watching right now, subscribe to my channel, left a like and commented down below their favorite doomsday bunker hack that we've done in today's video. We can possibly blow this video up and that means I can give more stuff away to you guys. Seriously, thank you guys for all the love and sport but let's get into this wow so this right here is the underground bunker at the top under the dome are the recreation facilities like the pet park and okay. climbing wall underneath that are the mechanical level medical bay and food Ooh, stores that's really cool spread across okay so i've got a really good understanding as to how this has to go let's start building mogi we've got to build a doomsday bunker because very shortly a giant volcano is going to be spawning here and destroying this entire world around us plus sinkholes oh, plus a freaking no. earthquake it's not going to be pretty okay we got to get to building really quickly how do you know that's going to happen uh uh, uh, somebody somebody told me the mod creator told me it's gonna happen we only have 15 minutes to build this okay we gotta go what so listen oh, moki here's what's gonna happen that. here's what's gonna happen i'm gonna focus on the very first floor i'm gonna need you to start building the secret entrance way down okay yeah i'm on it sweet this is gonna oh, be our man. game plan everybody okay. there are four steps to our doomsday bunker first we have level one level one is where you can enter from surface level level two is where you can head underground and, and all the redstone and contraptions are going to be held at level three is where all your food supply is going to be at and everything from level four and down is all living quarters let's get started okay so i'm going to do something very simple i feel like iron blocks uh are pretty sturdy especially in real life you know iron blocks are are pretty powerful and strong blocks so uh we can use this <laughs> Shark. Yes. Especially in real life, do you just casually have a one meter by one meter cube of iron in your house? Uh, I mean, I personally don't, but these doomsday bunkers do. I did. Just, it's... just saying, just saying. You know, they, they do. <laughs> hey, shark. I think it's concrete. Shh, we're just gonna pretend it's iron, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna first focus on this door and just the general area. If you can, if you can get started on this, that'd be great. Shark, yes. can I show you something? What's that? I'm gonna take your fist. Mogi, Mogi, Mogi. I know, here, I know. Okay, okay. Place two there. Okay, yeah. Two there, and I'm gonna make a small fist. Okay, look at this like odd this. flex, odd flex, but okay. And then I'm gonna uh -huh. take like a few pieces of redstone, one there, one there, and one okay. there. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, that. And yeah. it's all gonna magically work. <laughs> okay, you know what? You showed me. Up. <laughs> okay, well, my very incredible contraption piston door now uh, now works great. <laughs> I totally did it. Yeah, well done, Shrek. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the main area here. So I'm just gonna go ahead. We're gonna set all this grass. Uh, So the surface layer of our doomsday bunker is now complete. We have reinforced glass windows. These are bulletproof windows reinforced on both the front and back sides. I have, I also have them reinforced with more iron blocks just to make sure nothing shatters and nothing breaks in for, for whatever reason, if something were to shatter, there is another layer of glass protecting the inside of the bunker. All right, Mogi, let's see. What do you got going on down here? Uh, piston things. Nice. Okay. Can I come down? I'm coming down. Uh, okay. Not, I couldn't even stop you. There you go. Okay, the redstone door is looking incredible. I'm going to start working on the second story, which happens to be the farm. Let's go. Okay, so uh, I need to make this go all the way down here. Similar to the video that we watched, um, all the rooms are all the exact same size. So I'm going to I'm gonna keep that in consideration when building this. Okay, let's see here. This is where we're going to have our farm and set everything up. Let's get to work. Seeing as we're extremely limited on space here, I want to make sure that we can utilize as much room in this place as possible. I think we're going to we're going to section this off in four different areas. First area, we're going to have a farm going all the way over this way. Actually, no, we can split this up just like this. We actually could probably have a lot of farms in here. I think I know what we're going to do. We have one farm. We have another farm right here. I have another farm right here. And then we can also have another farm on top as a second layer. Ooh, okay. I got, I got a really good idea for this one. There we go. We're just going to ladder like that. We've got our first farm right here. Now it's time to get all the other ones working. Let's go. The 
first layer of the farm is looking really good. We've added some artificial light to be able to provide vitamins to all of our crops, and these should be grown and ready to harvest very soon. Mogi, how's it looking up here? How you doing, man? It's all it's looking pretty good, honestly. Ooh, I'm coming to check up right now. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'm at the other side of the door. Yo, that's so cool. No way. It pulls yeah, out also, a staircase and it also blocks it up too. That's so cool. Yeah, also fix this. So flick the lever and uh root. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Okay, that's a lot more convenient. Sweet. I really like yeah, that. Yeah, you, you can close it from both sides as well. And it's a lever, so it's uh, confusing. Ah, that's cool. That's really cool. Sweet. Okay, now the second story. I'm thinking for this... For the second story of our farm, we can use some animals because, of course, it would be a little difficult to only eat bread while being in an underground bunker for 40 to 50 years. I feel like some animal food would be really good after some time. Let's go ahead and do that. We've now got the second floor where we have all of our animals. We can start breeding them and they should all be safe and survive a natural disaster. Now that we've got this and we've also got our our entrance from all the way up here, we have, we have the main floor done, we have level one done, and now we have level two, which is our agricultural room also complete now it's time to start working on our living quarters let's get to it by the way mogi we only have uh five minutes until the uh natural disasters start happening we gotta build our rooms what? quickly like right now okay wow why so little time shark i don't we've spent so much time on all the other stuff that we love doing but little did we realize there's a freaking volcano spawning right beside us Okay, we got a bed. Of course, uh, you know, Mogi, I did a build battle the other day, and you want to know what everybody called me out on? What? Not clock? putting my not putting my clock down. So I'm putting it down today. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Can't believe you forgot it. I know, right? One of the biggest and most important things inside of Doomsday Bunkers is people love to put images and things that remind them of the world that they're all used to. So we're going to build a fake reality outside of these glass windows right here. How am I going to do that, you may ask? Check this out. I'm going to go ahead to the surface right here, and I'm going to do a very simple command. We're going to go ahead and do this, and we're we're going to copy just a small chunk of what the world used to look like. So in case we start going crazy a little bit, we can look at our window and, and fool ourselves into thinking that we're still alive in this horrible world that's burning from a volcano. Okay, let's hopefully this doesn't break anything. Our first room is now complete. Plus, you can also look outside the window and it makes you feel like you're back in reality. Oh, very Whoa. neat. Very, very neat. Now all we have to do is have more little dorms like that so we can house more and more people in our secret doomsday bunker. Okay, Moki, we've got two and a half minutes. Let's go. This is our doomsday bunker. Check this out. We can we can open the front door by just simply pulling the lever right there. Now check it out. You've already seen this here and uh, it looks pretty nifty if you ask me. Go ahead and close the door just like so. Push this button and it's gonna open the hatch to go underground. Again, right here is air sealed. So uh, nothing should get in here, hopefully. Come on down, Mogi. We're gonna close it up again, just like that. There we go. Yep. Now we've got our first layer here, which happens to be where all of our food is gonna be. We have cows, chickens, pigs, rabbits, horses, everything you might need. And down below, we got some crops. The crops is gonna be the bread and butter of all of this because you can virtually eat crop food every single day of the week. And uh, we have an infinite supply of it. Heading down below here is the living quarters where everybody's gonna be able to live. We have uh, four different rooms so we can occupy four different players inside of this base. Everybody will have a room. And right over here happens to be the most important thing. When hey, these, Shark, yes, no. yes, that is, that is a door. Great job, Moki. Great job. Thank you. This light right here that says the safety hatch tells us if the door above is open or closed. If the light is on, that is telling us that the door is closed and something on the outside world is going bad right now. However, if this light is off, the door is open and you're free to go to the surface. This right here is our emergency control lever. If everything else in our base gets gets compromised, we can go ahead and pull this lever, which is going to activate a bunch of pistons and completely airlock and seal us down here in the living quarters. That is only for a emergencies and should only be used if it's life or death. Mogi, the timer has run up. It is now officially time to see if our emergency doomsday bunker will survive an actual doomsday. Let's do this. All right. Oh, oh God. Oh God. The volcano has already started oh, no. and it's taking over the base. I got to get underground. <laughs> it's already taken the base. What whoa, has whoa, whoa, happened? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All of our redstone has been interrupted. Oh my really? gosh. The whole base is destroyed. We didn't whoa. even get to survive a minute here. The whole base just got morphed. Wait, wait, hold up. There might still be one living quarters available. This is an absolute disaster. The second a volcano started spawning, our whole base got morphed oh my gosh dude all the animals are stuck together all the rooms collided together everything is destroyed wow it looks like our doomsday bunker did not survive any of this okay mogi well we might as well 
see if I can survive in here. Oh, <laughs> God. This isn't looking too good at all. Oh, man. Let me check the volcano here. Oh, my yeah, gosh. I, this I'm coming, thing is so tall. I'm coming up to see the volcano real quick. Our entire doomsday bunker has been more from this volcano. Yo, what is this? Oh, my gosh. This is the volcano. That is what our base used to look like. And now our base is readily destroyed. I think it still looks pretty nice, honestly. <laughs> There's nothing there, Moki. It's all gone. It's all gone. Yeah, no, Everything well, we just worked on is gone. The slope is kind of nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of nice. Thankfully, the volcano it's hasn't started cool. to erupt yet, but it's going to in three, two, one. Oh, the volcano is now erupting. Let's see. Would our base, in theory, survive from this volcano eruption? As you can see, the top of the volcano is starting to smoke and the lava is coming down honestly with the water and lava mixture this could provide some some coverage of our base if it if the volcano wasn't directly underneath our base if we literally built like 20 blocks this way we would have been fine we would have been completely fine wow. we would have been completely okay and our base would still be in peace but it's not and now it's destroyed and now i'm kind of hurt well, i'm really hurt actually <laughs> i'm really hurt hey look a clock yo dude the village is even gone Wait, the village? No way. Yeah, it hit the village a oh little bit. Oh my gosh, it got through the village. I mean, that could be where we go for backup. Mogi, you know what? Ooh. This volcano is really slow. Let's make this. Uh, let's make this more destructive. Can we add a sinkhole and an earthquake? There's currently an earthquake ongoing inside of our doomsday bunker, and as you can see, the earthquake is taking out the base right now. All of the iron blocks that we thought would be oh. reinforced are completely being destroyed. Wow. Apparently for the next one, Mogi, we've got a lot of work to do. And I want you guys to let us know down below in the comments, what should we do differently in the next Doomsday Bunker video? Nothing survived. Literally nothing survived. Not even one single room survived this. Wow. I mean, I mean what? our fake outside survived, but nothing else it did. kind of nice. Hey, look, I found all of our food. <laughs> Oh. oh my goodness, dude. They're all stuck in a corner. <laughs> so it seems to me that the earthquake is not affecting the low areas of the base. However, it is destroying the top of the surface level of the base. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm still in the crops. I found a safe area. Oh. Maybe there's a chance we can survive down here. I don't know. I don't even know what room is what. We would look so pretty before it. Now it looks disgusting. <laughs> Oh, the volcano is now officially touched down to the doomsday bunker. I think it's safe to say that our bunker did not survive this by any means. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. Let us know how we should prepare our doomsday bunker in the next video. But make sure you click the end cards right there. They're actually specifically chosen for what you enjoy watching. So I'll bet my entire life savings that you'll love the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.